At a basic level, nuclear power is the practice of splitting atoms to boil water, turn turbines, and generate electricity. During fission, a neutron bombards a uranium atom, releasing more neutrons and triggering a chain reaction. Atoms are constructed like a small solar system. At the center of the atom is the nucleus, moving around electrons. The nucleus is composed of the protons and neutrons, very densely packed together. Hydrogen is the lightest element, has one proton. The heaviest natural element, uranium, has 92 protons. The nucleus of an atom is held together with a great force, the strongest force in nature. When bombarded with a neutron, it can be split apart, a process called a fission, because uranium atoms are so large. The atomic force that binds them together is relatively weak, making uranium good for fission. In nuclear power and plants, neutrons collide with their uranium atoms, splitting them. This split releases neutrons from the uranium, then in turn collide with the other atoms, causing a chain reaction. This chain reaction is controlled with the control rods that absorb neutrons. In the core of the nuclear reactors, the fission of uranium atoms releases energy that heats water to about 520 degrees Fahrenheit. This hot water is then used to spin turbines that are connected to generators, producing electricity. Mining and processing nuclear fuels. Uranium is one of the least plentiful minerals, making up only two parts per million in the Earth's crust. But because of its radioactivity, it's a plentiful supply of energy. One pound of uranium has as much energy as a three million pounds of coal. Radioactive elements gradually decay, losing their radioactivity. The time it takes to lose half of its radioactivity, it's called a half-life. U-238, the most common form of uranium, has a half-life of 4.5 billion years. Uranium is found in a number of geological formations, as well as the seawater. To be mined as a fuel, however, it must be sufficiently concentrated, making up at least 100 parts per million of the rock. The mining process is similar to coal mining, with both open pit and underground mines. It produces similar environmental impacts, with the added hazard that uranium mine tailing and radioactive. Groundwater can be polluted not only from the heavy metals presented in the mine waste, but also from the traces of radioactive uranium still left in the waste. Half of the people employed by the uranium mining industry work on cleaning up the mines after use. 
The Department of Energy of the United States has proven uranium reserves of the last two 300 million pounds, primary in the New Mexico, Texas, and Wyoming. U.S. power plants are using over 40 million pounds of uranium fuel each year. Much more uranium is likely to be available beyond our proven reserves. Once mined, the uranium ore is assigned to a processing plant to be concentrated into a fuel. There are 16 processing plants in the US, but currently only 8 are reactive. Most uranium concentrate is made by leaching the uranium from the ore with acids. When finished, the uranium ore is turned into the U308, the fuel form of uranium, and shaped into small pallets. The pallets are packed into 12-foot long rods, called fuel rods. The rods are bundled together into fuel assemblies, ready to be used in the core of the reactor. As of 2012, over 80% of urani uranium purchased by civilian nuclear reactors was imported to the US, not mined domestically. Main suppliers include Russia, Canada, Australia, Kazakhstan or Namibia. <laughs> 